Following the overview of the SVM, let's take a closer look of how the SVM works algorithmically. At the very center of our algorithm, as with many other machine learning algorithms, we have our cost function, or also known as objective function. The objective function can be used in scenarios where you want to minimize or maximize a given function. In the case of an SVM, we are trying to maximize the margin surrounding our hyperplane and to minimize the number of mistakes our model does when predicting labels. You will find a more formal description, including mathematical expressions, in the additionally provided material. For the margin, we can consider two options, the hard margin and the soft margin. In the following explanation, we are going to use a hard margin. So how does the SVM work with a hard margin? A hard margin basically means that the algorithm aims at finding a margin to make zero errors in the prediction. Additionally, of course, the algorithm also tries to find the biggest possible margin with zero errors. A soft margin, on the other hand, allows for some errors. But to not overload this video with theoretical information, we will provide additional material covering the soft margin. Talking about margins in SVMs, I also want to mention a related hyperparameter. This hyperparameter, which many available implementations only refer to as C, is a regularization parameter influencing how large your margin is. A smaller value for this parameter leads to a bigger margin, and a bigger value leads to a smaller margin. Obviously, if we set this parameter to obtain a bigger margin, our model might end up making more errors for the predictions. But this is not necessarily a bad thing, as this could be beneficial to reduce overfitting. Okay, let's continue with how the algorithm works. The algorithm now aims to find a fitting hyperplane based on the cost function. But how is this done? As with most other algorithms in machine learning, we can use an iterative process. The algorithm starts off by trying an arbitrary hyperplane and calculates the resulting cost. One possibility to minimize this cost function is to use gradient descent. For more details on gradient descent, you can head over to module 5, where we talk about regression and minimizing a function using gradient descent. But to summarize, at each iteration, the algorithm will get some more information on how to tune the hyperplane to make it a bit more optimal. So following along, this means that with each iteration, our hyperplane will be adjusted along our data to minimize the resulting cost, which once again takes the margin and misclassification into account. And of course, an additional hyperparameter to consider is the type of the kernel that you want to use. Popular kernel choices are simple polynomial kernels and Gaussian kernels. The choice of the kernel strongly depends on what your dataset looks like, so it is important to get a good understanding of your data. So, all in all, the SVM is a simple model in the surface, but has quite some depth below that. Due to its flexibility coming with different types of kernels, the SVM is a very popular algorithm that usually performs at a rather good level.